I'm gonna do exactly what you said I couldn't do And I'm never gonna slow it down just cause you want me to Hating hoes ain't happy, and happy hoes ain't hating All of my team winning, so we gon' have a celebration We don't take L's not around here, no we don't We don't take L's not around here, no we don't Still, we don't take Hey guys, welcome back to my channel So this is quarantine at its realest bowl. Okay. So we're gonna do a raw and unedited, unedited video for you guys. We're gonna talk. So we just went and got our free first responders and healthcare medical breakfast from McDonald's. You guys know you get free meals. That shit stink. The egg. <laughs> <laughs> you get free meals um until May 5th. So go get y'all stuff. I gotta McGriddle. So again, what is a chicken McGriddle? Chicken McGriddle. I'm eating it separate because I'm scared to eat pancakes with chicken. It's nasty. Don't even, it, don't make, <laughs> it don't make sense. Okay, so, and she got, what'd you get? Um, Egg McMuffin. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. And we got our hash brown and drink. Completely free. Just show your ID. Yeah, super hot. So I ain't get no, no straw. That's cool. For real? Yeah. I could have sworn she gave me two straws. All right, so you guys read the title. This is going to be a uh, raw and unedited, apparently a mukbang. Um, and we're going to talk about... She talked me into this, y'all. Look crazy. Everybody looking crazy. Can't nobody get their eyebrows done, hair done. Child. That's why we need to learn how to do these things, so we can do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about going backwards. Let's talk about going back to your past. When your past show up. You run, bitch. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, but for real, like, so I I've dealt with like exes coming back. I do stink. I do stink. Mm. Exes coming back, or like friends coming back in your life that you separated from. It was a reason. It was a reason that they were stuck in the past. Mm -hmm. So for you to try to like, oh, see, my thing is when people come back to me, I only. The, I only remember like the good part or I try to my brain try to make it because I was hurt my brain try to make it seem like it was something that it wasn't mm -hmm. so then I end up falling back into this like oh we can we can we can be back together or we can do this we can do but well, we can't like and then you start to remember why you stop talking to that per person in the that what <laughs> like when I call myself giving a person a, a chance again mm -hmm. so we talking and talking and then I start thinking about all the stuff that that person did. Then I'd be like, block. But the crazy part is that if you would have changed throughout these years, I wouldn't be thinking about it. But you're the same fucking person, nigga. Like, I done moved on. Mm. I done created something better for myself. That part. But you're the same. Mm -hmm. Because if you weren't, this wouldn't be a trigger to me. It wouldn't, it wouldn't make me so upset. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. that's the thing. It's like you 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 want to believe that people are who you are, that they will give you what you gave them, or that you are willing to give them, but they they won't. Yep. That's the same with cheaters. Like we broke up because you were cheating. Mm -hmm. Years later, we moved on, and here you are still trying to talk to me. Get cheating. Cheating. That's why we stopped talking. You're in a whole other relationship, but you're trying to come back. You're still cheating though. Exactly. That's the trigger, right? That's the trigger. So, you haven't changed. Yeah, this chicken is not good. I think the chicken is old, though. Like, the McGriddle tastes fresh, but the chicken tastes like this. Well, so you know, when you get dinner. free, it's going to be something. True. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just eating the McGriddle on the hash round, though. I don't know about that chicken. But, yeah. But honestly, what well, yeah. is? Like... I don't know. Recently, I had somebody coming back into my life that, like, I tried to give them, like, another chance. But it's like, you the same, if not worse, than what you was toxic. before. One it's one. super fucking toxic. Like, that shit is crazy. But me only trying to see the best in you because I've changed, because I became a better person, thinking that you gonna do better because you see me doing better. We, we not the same, boo. Uh-uh. We definitely not the same, though. So how do you handle 
situation when people try to come back in your life. Me? Yeah. Anybody else in this car? <laughs> I thought you were talking to the people. Oh, no. <laughs> of course y'all can comment down below, but this has a... Like, girl. I don't know. Like I said, like, I'm I'm a nice person. I got a big heart. So, I always try to see the good in, in people. Mm -hmm. I always try to give somebody the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. I always try to look beyond, like, everything that they've done, things that they put me through in the past. So, I try to give them a second chance. True. So... That's my fault. Yeah. For believing in it. It's all on me. Like, fool me once, boo. Exactly. Shame on you. Yeah. Fool me twice. Shame uh, on me. I'm not going to give you a third time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to give you a third time. Nah. Like, I try to see the good in you. And you prove to me for the second time why I left the first time. Mm hmm So, back mm -hmm. to that, I'm done. Mm hmm Like. And I'm not even going to say that you stupid for giving this person, like, another chance, but. I don't know. I guess you live and you learn. Mm -hmm. I honestly feel like God sent people back in your life to see if you still gonna do it. You're going to do it again. You're going to be crazy enough to do it again. Or have you learned the lesson that I tried to teach you the first time? That's how I see it. Right. So, yeah. It's, um... I don't know. And there's honestly a thin line between love and hate. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That... I didn't understand that when I was younger, but that shit is so fucking true. Like, and it's not even that I, like, actually hate you, but we can't coexist together. Because hate is a strong word. Yeah. We can't coexist together, though. You can, I, I want you to be happy, but you can't be happy with me. Because I'm on something totally different than what you want. Exactly. My happiness, it wasn't built to be with your happiness. So. But why do it always in this take for, like. So like when you in a relationship and you giving this person your all mm -hmm. and they doing you wrong, you leave, they leave, whatever. Why do it take for them to lose you to see like how they really feel? Like, damn. Because they went back, they went out into the world thinking they was going to find better. But we, we be grown. That's for, that's teenager shit. Yeah. I'm talking about like, but this is this is people. Period. That you always looking for more. You always want more, 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 more. And that's the thing. You never can just accept what you have and build with what you have. It's always you wanting more. So then when they leave and go and see, oh well, I had the best of the best. I right. had that shit. Now I'm, I'm trying to now me. yeah. Now I'm trying to get it back, nigga. It's too late. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what it is. It's always they they. Just like when was that Tyler Perry movie? Why did we get married or something? Mm -hmm. When he, when the girl was like um, eighty twenty. The eighty twenty rule. It's like they always go for the twenty, but nigga, you got mostly what you want right here. So inside, instead of just trying to make that shit what it is and make it work and build on it, mm -hmm. you rather just go chase that. And now you done lost everything. They got crumbs everywhere. That's what happens. I'm eating. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, honestly, what it is though. They always think the next person, the grass gonna be green on the other side. It's not. Yeah, but I, I don't understand that because, like I said, it's like we grow as fuck. Mm -hmm. We grow. We not in high school no more. Like you can expect shit like that from right sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, even even some twenty year olds because they still grow. Right, right. But thirties plus, nigga, we grown as hell. Why we not playing these high school games? Nope. You either gonna be here or you not. Yeah. But that's why when they walk away, it's our job to be like, okay, and accept it and let them walk away and never come fucking back. Like, that's when it. we walk away, I love you. Yeah. You just go leave me. I am. <laughs> right. I'm, <laughs> mentally, I'm, I'm I tired. am. Like, that's emotional. Once I'm mentally done, I'm, I'm done. That's it. Like, my mind is elsewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm done. We you out. lost all my attention. That's it. That's it for me, boo. Mm hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, that once, especially, I feel like women are more so like that. Like, men, they can go out and they can do whatever, and mentally, like, that shit would not bother them at fucking, like, you have no conscience. They don't. That's crazy, bro. They, like, it's like they have no feeling. Yeah. Well, I, I love you, but I'ma still fuck who, mm -hmm. so what is love to you? I don't really think men know what love is. No. Hell like, no. I'm not even gonna sit here in front, like. I don't think most Sometimes, people know what love is. I try to sit and think, like, damn, do I even know yeah, what love is? Yeah. Like, I feel like 
I'm not being loved or I'm not uh, or nobody loves me because I never had that feeling. Right. Like I never had no one love me. Like so like how can I say, Oh, you don't love me if I never experienced right. it? Right. So like do you really love me or if I just never experienced it, so I, I don't know if you loving me correctly. Right. So And who's to say that love is like an actual feeling or an emotion? Who's to say that it's not just a person that is like always there for you that always make you like comfortable and okay with like being around like their aura their spirit their presence because mm-hmm. we we always say like oh you don't love me blah blah because you want you want like a certain high you want like a certain feeling like because if you love me you want okay y'all know how like in the beginning it's like that puppy love right where you like oh my god i gotta text him all day yes I gotta, you chasing that you're not gonna have that the whole fucking time. So right. love is actually like the part after that. It's but like, it's up to it's up. To, I'm not even gonna say it's up to the guy. It's up to both of yeah. the woman and the man to yeah. keep that spark. Mm-hmm. It's up to y'all uh, to, to to keep that spark alive. Like in the beginning, that's where you feel love the most. So like, you think, yeah, but like oh, but it's that the person butterflies, that's gonna stick the waking that up, shit. the texts, the yeah. All of that. That's, that's what, you, what you think love is. All of that extra shit in the beginning. My my version of love when I was little was like the white picket fence, the 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 vacation, the, the just cooking together, the just everything like. But y'all both have to want it. That's the ooh, thing. This reality now. Yeah, nah. Hmm. Mm-mm. <laughs> mm, what the hell? Yeah, no. Nah. And then it, it has to do a lot with like how people are raised too. That part. It has to do a lot Ooh, with. Child. Yeah, because it's like I don't need to get up here and throw no shade. <laughs> but honestly, it is though because you expect, like I said, you expect people to be who you are. That's if that's not how they was raised, they don't know. So you need to have that conversation. It needs to be clear cut from the beginning. Like this is what makes me happy. This is what I expect. This is what I expect. You know. Uh huh. And then you tell me what, what you they want. say. How a person, how a man treat his mother is how he's gonna treat you. Mm-hmm. And I believe it. Mm-hmm. I honestly believe it. Cause I've been in relationships where I'm like, I see. I'm like, you talk to your mother like that. Like, nigga, if you could talk to the person who birthed you like that. What, what am I? What am I to you? Mm-hmm. Mm, no respect for me. No. At all. Mm-mm. But yeah, y'all. That that's I don't know. Somebody need to hear this. It was a message. <laughs> okay. So make sure you guys subscribe. Budget video will be out tomorrow for you guys. Um and yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Hit the notification bell. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys do. If something from your past is trying to come back to, into your present, how do you handle it? I say run, y'all. Run like a motherfucker. Run. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.